Did you know that most of what we believe about confidence is a myth? Society tells us that confidence comes from success, status, or how others perceive us, but nothing could be further from the truth. If you want to build unshakable confidence, the kind that doesn't crumble under pressure or depend on external validation, you need to start looking inward. And that's where the ancient philosophy of Stoicism comes in. Imagine walking into any room, not worrying about judgment, rejection or failure. That level of calm, assured presence isn't reserved for the naturally confident, it's built through understanding and practice. The Stoics believed that true confidence comes from mastering your mind, embracing challenges and focusing on what you can control. By adopting their principles, you can transform how you approach not just confidence, but life itself. In this video, we'll uncover how Stoicism redefines confidence. From the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius to practical exercises you can start today, this journey will challenge everything you think you know about self-assurance. Avoid the mistake of chasing fleeting confidence and instead discover a timeless approach that anchors you in inner strength. Let's dive in. Number 1. Redefining Confidence Through Stoicism, imagine standing at the edge of a serene lake as the first rays of dawn dance across its surface. The world is quiet and the air is filled with a profound sense of possibility. It's in these tranquil moments that we often feel most connected to ourselves, free from external pressures, opinions and judgments. This serene confidence feels like a natural state, but how often does it fade as we step back into the noise of daily life? Confidence in today's world is often mistaken for bravado, a loud and forceful assertion of self. But beneath that facade, many of us wrestle with self-doubt. Think about the friend or colleague who seems effortlessly confident, the one who lights up a room and carries themselves with an air of assurance. Is it something they were born with, or is it cultivated? If you've ever wondered why confidence feels elusive or fleeting, you're not alone. Stoic philosophy offers a timeless lens to understand this enigma. It teaches that true confidence isn't about external validation or circumstances, but emerges from a deeper understanding of oneself and the natural order of life. It's not loud or boastful, it's quiet resilient and grounded. By the end of this journey, you'll see that confidence isn't something you seek, but something you nurture within. Number two, the Stoic foundations of true confidence. To understand the Stoic perspective on confidence, let's transport ourselves back to ancient Rome. Picture the bustling agora filled with merchants, philosophers and citizens. Among them walks a man named Epictetus, a former slave who became one of Stoicism's most profound voices. Epictetus faced unimaginable hardships, yet he radiated a quiet assurance. His confidence wasn't rooted in wealth or status, he had neither, but in his unwavering belief that our reactions, not our circumstances, define us. Stoicism views confidence as an intrinsic quality, not a fleeting emotion. At its core, it's about aligning our lives with nature and reason. The Stoics believed the universe operates under a predetermined order known as Logos. This doesn't imply passivity, but a harmonious acceptance of what is and a commitment to act virtuously within those parameters. Confidence, then, arises from understanding that while we can't control external events, we hold complete power over our responses. Imagine a time when you faced a significant challenge, perhaps a job interview or an important presentation. You might have been consumed by fear of failure or judgment. The Stoics would urge you to shift your perspective. Instead of focusing on outcomes beyond your control, concentrate on the effort you put in, the preparation you can undertake, and the principles you uphold. Think of Marcus Aurelius a Roman emperor who wrote his meditations in the solitude of his tent amidst wars and plagues. He faced immense pressure, 
yet found solace in the principle, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. These words are a testament to the Stoic belief that true confidence is born when we master our inner world. Number 3. Drawing strength from adversity and vulnerability. Adversity is a universal experience. Recall a moment when life threw a curveball your way, a sudden financial struggle, a health scare, or a relationship breakdown. In those moments, the weight of the world feels unbearable, and confidence seems like a distant memory. But what if these challenges weren't meant to break us, but to build us? For the Stoics, adversity was not an enemy, but a teacher. They believed that obstacles reveal our true strength. Take the story of Zeno, the founder of Stoicism, who lost everything in a shipwreck. Standing amidst the ruins of his fortune, he didn't succumb to despair. Instead, he famously remarked, Fortune has taken away my possessions, but given me myself. From this fresh start, he built a philosophical framework that has endured for centuries. Stoics also embraced vulnerability as a pathway to genuine confidence. It might feel counterintuitive, but acknowledging our imperfections and fears is a profound act of strength. Picture Cato the Younger, a Roman statesman known for his unwavering principles. He often wore mismatched tunics in a society obsessed with appearances. By deliberately challenging social norms, Cato sought to free himself from the shackles of external validation. Now think about your own life. Have there been moments when you felt exposed, unsure, or even embarrassed? Maybe it was speaking up in a meeting or sharing a deeply personal story. Those moments of vulnerability often bring the most growth. They teach us that confidence isn't about perfection, but authenticity. Nostalgia often sneaks in when we reflect on childhood. As kids, we were unapologetically ourselves, asking endless questions, embracing our quirks, and pursuing our passions without fear of judgment. Where did that innate confidence go? Society, with its endless demands for conformity and approval, likely played a role. The Stoics remind us that reclaiming this childlike authenticity is key to building unshakable confidence. Doesn't it make you wonder? If ancient philosophers, exiles and emperors could find confidence amidst chaos, what's stopping us from doing the same today? What untapped strength lies within you, waiting to be discovered? Number 4. The Role of Mortality and Impermanence in Confidence Imagine standing on a quiet hilltop, gazing at the setting sun as it bathes the horizon in shades of orange and gold. In that fleeting moment, you're reminded of life's transience, how everything, no matter how beautiful or painful, eventually fades. It's a bittersweet truth, but one the Stoics embraced wholeheartedly. Mortality and impermanence weren't sources of fear for them. They were keys to unlocking a deeper, more profound confidence. In the hustle of daily life, it's easy to forget that our time is limited. We make plans for the future, worry about trivial matters, and chase after fleeting pleasures, often forgetting that each passing moment is one we'll never get back. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminds us, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. This isn't meant to be morbid, but to center us in the present and encourage us to live with intention. The Stoic view of mortality isn't about resignation, but empowerment. When we accept that life is finite, we free ourselves from the fear of failure and judgment. Imagine being at a crossroads in your life, facing a daunting decision like starting a new career, ending a toxic relationship, or pursuing a dream. Fear often whispers, what if it doesn't work out? But when you remember the brevity of life, that fear loses its power. Suddenly, the risks feel smaller compared to the regret of not trying. Mortality also teaches us about the impermanence of our challenges, 
Think back to a time when you were overwhelmed by a problem that seemed insurmountable. Perhaps it was financial hardship, a health issue, or heartbreak. Now, with the benefit of hindsight, you can see that those moments were transient. They passed, and so will the challenges you face today. Nostalgia often draws us back to simpler times, childhood summers, meaningful conversations, or the warmth of family gatherings. While these memories are precious, they also remind us of the impermanence of everything we hold dear. But this impermanence isn't something to lament, it's a call to cherish the present. Confidence comes from knowing that no matter what we face, the essence of life is change, and we can find beauty in the ephemeral. Curiosity takes root when we consider how embracing mortality can transform the way we live. What if, instead of fearing the end, we let it inspire us to make bold choices, to love deeply and to pursue our passions without hesitation? What could you accomplish if you truly believed that every moment counts? Number 5. Internal versus External Validation A Stoic Perspective Confidence, for many, is often tied to external validation. Think about how much of our self-worth depends on likes on social media, praise from peers, or approval from family. While these moments of recognition feel gratifying, they're fleeting, leaving us hungry for more. Stoicism, however, invites us to shift our focus inward, to find validation not in the applause of others, but in alignment with our values and principles. Let's explore the story of Cato the Younger, a Stoic renowned for his unwavering integrity. In a society obsessed with wealth, status and appearances, Cato walked his own path. He wore simple clothing, spoke honestly, and refused to compromise his principles, even when it cost him popularity and political advantage. His confidence wasn't rooted in how others perceived him, but in his commitment to living virtuously. External validation is inherently unstable because it depends on factors outside our control. Consider a time when you achieved something significant, perhaps a promotion, a personal milestone, or a creative accomplishment. The praise you received likely felt exhilarating, but what happened when the applause faded? Did self-doubt creep back in? This roller coaster of validation is exhausting because it places our sense of worth in the hands of others. Internal validation, on the other hand, is unshakable because it's rooted in self-awareness and authenticity. When you act in alignment with your values, you create a foundation of confidence that no external criticism or praise can shake. Imagine standing firm in your beliefs during a heated discussion or choosing a path that feels right to you, even if it's unconventional. That quiet confidence comes not from proving yourself to others, but from staying true to yourself. Nostalgia often reminds us of moments when external validation didn't matter. Think back to childhood, when you drew pictures, sang songs, or played games purely for the joy of it. You weren't seeking approval, you were simply being yourself. What would it feel like to recapture that sense of freedom as an adult? Curiosity beckons when we consider what life could look like if we let go of the need for external validation. What if your confidence came solely from knowing you're living authentically? How would it change your decisions, relationships and sense of purpose? Number 6. Practical Stoic Exercises to Build Unshakable Confidence Confidence isn't a mystical quality reserved for the lucky few, it's a skill cultivated through practice and reflection. For the Stoics, confidence wasn't about bravado or arrogance, but about grounding oneself in clarity, resilience, and a deep understanding of one's values. In a world that constantly pulls us in multiple directions, through social media, societal expectations, and external pressures, Building unshakable confidence requires anchoring ourselves in principles that remain steady amidst chaos. This section explores actionable stoic exercises designed to nurture and solidify this inner strength. 
One of the cornerstone exercises in Stoicism is the practice of premeditatio malorum, or negative visualization. At first glance, imagining worst-case scenarios might seem counterintuitive for building confidence, but it is a transformative tool. Picture an upcoming event that fills you with anxiety, a job interview, an important conversation, or a challenging test. Instead of suppressing fears of failure, the stoic approach is to confront them head-on. Visualize what could go wrong. You might stumble over your words, face rejection, or feel inadequate. By rehearsing these possibilities mentally, you not only demystify them, but also prepare yourself emotionally to handle setbacks with grace. The purpose isn't to dwell on negativity, but to remind yourself that, even in failure, you possess the resilience to endure and grow. As Seneca advised, he who is prepared for the worst has already ceased to be afraid. Another powerful Stoic practice is journaling, a daily exercise to declutter the mind and align actions with values. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, regularly wrote down his reflections, fears and aspirations in what we now know as meditations. Journaling allows us to untangle our emotions, examine our reactions and evaluate our progress. Imagine starting each morning by noting your intentions. What virtues will I practice today? How will I remain steadfast in the face of challenges? At the end of the day, reflect, did I act with integrity? What lessons can I take from today's experiences? Over time, this practice becomes a mirror for self-awareness, revealing patterns in behavior and thought that either contribute to or detract from confidence. Mindfulness, though often associated with Eastern philosophies, plays a crucial role in Stoic thought as well. The Stoics emphasized living in accordance with nature, which includes being present in the current moment. Epictetus famously said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. Anxiety about future events or regret over past mistakes often undermines confidence, pulling us away from the here and now. A simple yet profound stoic exercise is to focus on the immediate task at hand, giving it your full attention. Whether it's preparing a meal, writing an email, or speaking with a loved one, immersing yourself fully in the present not only calms the mind, but also builds a sense of competence and mastery. This habit strengthens confidence by proving, moment by moment, that you are capable and resourceful. Stoic detachment or the dichotomy of control is another cornerstone exercise for cultivating confidence. This principle involves distinguishing between what we can and cannot control. Think about the last time you felt defeated or insecure. Was it because of something outside your control, perhaps someone else's opinion, the outcome of an effort or an unpredictable event? By focusing only on what lies within your power, such as your thoughts, actions and attitudes, you liberate yourself from the paralysis of external circumstances. For instance, in a professional setting, you can't dictate whether a project will be universally praised, but you can control the effort, precision and care you invest in it. By aligning your confidence with these controllable factors, you create a solid foundation that external forces cannot shake. A particularly humbling exercise recommended by the Stoics is voluntary discomfort. This practice involves deliberately stepping outside your comfort zone to cultivate resilience and self-reliance. In modern terms, it could mean fasting for a day, taking a cold shower, or spending time away from technology. These small acts teach you to endure discomfort and prove to yourself that you can handle challenges without losing your sense of self. For example, choosing to fast not only builds discipline, but also shifts your perspective on abundance, helping you appreciate the resources you usually take for granted. By intentionally exposing yourself to controlled adversity, 
you develop a quiet, unshakable confidence in your ability to navigate life's inevitable difficulties. As we've explored, the Stoic approach to confidence is not about faking it or relying on fleeting external approval. It's about mastering your mind, embracing challenges, and staying true to your principles. By implementing these timeless practices, you can cultivate a confidence that stands unshaken in the face of adversity and leads you toward a more meaningful and resilient life. Remember, true transformation begins when knowledge turns into action. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the 0.01% who commit to finishing what they start. Your dedication sets you apart. And if you're serious about transforming your life, don't miss out. Subscribe to the channel and join our growing community of like-minded individuals striving for greatness. Together, we rise.